As I'm watching the bottom of the ninth inning in tonight's Angels-Yankees game, I get a little annoyed when Angels closer Jordan Walden keeps checking on the runners on first and third, Curtis Granderson and Eduardo Nunez respectively, even though he had gotten two outs in the inning already and only needed to get Mark Teixeira out at the plate to preserve a 6-4 to four victory for his team. After Walden put the count in his favor at 1-2, and two, I finally understood why he kept throwing over to first base. On the very next play, he picks Granderson off first base for the final out of the game. My first reaction is, why, why, why did you do that, Granderson? Why are you thinking of leaning off first base with Teixeira at the plate? Teixeira is second in the Major League in home runs. He's a prime candidate to end the game with one swing, and Granderson takes the bat out of his hand. I do not know what Granderson could possibly be thinking there. You're down to your last out of the game, and you give it away with a pickoff? Look, Granderson is having a terrific season, leading the league in runs scored and third in the major leagues in home runs. But that is absolutely inexcusable. I've seen plenty of stupid plays in baseball, and they don't come much dumber than Curtis Granderson's monumental mistake tonight. The saying is that we all learn from our mistakes, right? So, here's the lesson baseball fans should learn from this incident. When the game is on the line, do not get caught stealing and take the bat out of your best hitter's hand!